Home to several of the nation's oil-producing states, it is arguably the most resource-rich district in Nigeria. The various state governments are now trying to integrate the local economies through the Braced Commission. The Braced Commission is a very important and clearly uh, one of the most economically important uh, blocks uh, in this country and uh, within the West African sub-region clearly. And we in Bayelsa are fully, fully in support of it because we know that it offers us a framework for collaboration and integration of our economies. And uh, we're interested in it. We have core areas of focus. We are interested in promoting the agricultural sector. Uh, we are interested in oil and gas and, of course, creating human, developing human capacity and all of that. An amnesty agreement reached in 2009 between government and militants led to an end of attacks on oil installation in Nigeria's south-south. But vandalization of pipelines continues, with bunkering still a major problem. Almost a tenth of oil produced in Nigeria is lost to smugglers. Bunkering is an ec economic activity. It's occurring because of the problems we are having um, in, in terms of uh, non-empowerment of the youths. So what we are trying to do, what we've been doing, is to put up activities that will make sure that the youths are gainfully employed. Two things, two parts of that activity. One, encourage investment. You can only encourage investment when you have the right infrastructure, and that is what we are doing, power, transportation, uh, ICT. Uh, so when the investors come, they can employ some of these are youths. Uh, we have economic zones, you know. Then two, to, 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 to give out uh, uh, credits, micro-credits, uh, to cooperatives, cooperatives in which the youths are involved. So we have these youths uh, being the cooperatives that are to fishing, into a Greek and uh, all, all those things that we are uh, So we are trying to reduce the bunkering by, first of all, ensuring that there is economic activity that will um, uh, attract these youths. In an effort to address employment and increase exports, South-South state governors need to create an environment suitable for the revitalization of the oil industry, particularly downstream sectors such as petrochemicals and petroleum refining. The challenge for us is um, refining, and I keep saying it, if we, if we continue to do the same thing, the same way over and over again, and we're not getting um, the results we expect, then maybe the time has come for us to look at doing things differently. And, and that's one sector where I think that we can have stronger partnerships with private sector and private sector participation in the um, downstream end of the oil and gas industry um, is, is, an, is one area that is slightly less capital intensive than production. Um, so clearly, uh, to my mind, we can come up with a different approach that can see to the development of refineries on the oil and gas industry in this sector. The six states that make up the Brace Commission hope an integrated economy will also develop non-oil sectors in the region. River State, for example, has recorded significant success in its power projects and is also looking at agriculture, while Aquaibom State is focusing on building the capacity of its workforce. We are proceeding with a $140 million uh, farm of different crops, cocoa and others, that we are doing with LR, LR group in, in uh, Israel. We've acquired the land, we intend to start. It has capacity to create three to 5,000 employment opportunities for our people. We're already partnering with a Mexican company to establish 2,000 hectares of banana farm. They are on site and they are planting and all that. So we're doing quite a lot in agriculture as a way of creating employment opportunities for, for our people. We have expanded the educational facilities. Uh, now we have triple school enrollment all over the schools. We also declared free and compulsory education for our children from senior second, from junior secondary, in fact from, right from primary school up to senior secondary school level. And we made sure that that was open to all Nigerian children who are resident in Aquaibo. The provision of microfinance for small businesses is central to revitalizing the informal economy, while public-private partnerships are key to funding large infrastructure projects. Um, we're one of the few states uh, in this part that has passed a PPP law and um, we're implementing that PPP law. Um, we've created a legal and regulatory environment that should attract that type of investment and those partnerships. We also believe very strongly in outsourcing of a lot of our current services to the private sector because of inefficiencies of government. So as a policy as a, and an administration, we believe that stronger partnerships um, with the private sector will lead to faster growth and development. 
Several of the region's state budgets are as large as some African nations, like Senegal and Rwanda. Corruption, however, is still a major hindrance to growth. The river said budget is about $3 billion. That's higher than, that's higher than Senegal. Then the question to ask is, why are we not doing as well as Rwanda is doing? Why are we not doing as well as Senegal is doing? It, it therefore means that there's a lot of either incapacity or corruption or mismanagement. I think we need to look, for that. We need, we need to look at what is going on. And I'm happy that when I came down, all the governors agreed that the next base commission meeting will review our budget positions, will review management and see what we can do in terms of the reform in financial management. Strength in numbers is the key thesis behind Nigeria's Brace Commission. If successful, Brace will unify the oil-rich South-South region and propel it towards its full economic potential. The key deliverables to watch will be the government's ability to deal with corruption as well as providing for microfinancing facilities to turbocharge local business growth. Keisha Gitari, Lagos.